Hello, here's a video about GitHub, why you need it, and how to create an account. We're going to jump right in uh, to it. This is a, this video is a part of the Beginner Boost, uh, among many other things. Uh, if you're here, you're welcome to make comments and, and stuff. Please try to keep everything relevant. So what is GitHub? Um, GitHub is a service for storing data usually related to programming, but not always. And we're not going to get really into it. Here's my GitHub account. So go to github.com. You're, you're going to need an account here. Okay, now if you don't already have an account, we're going to go through, we're going to create an account because I actually need to create an account. Now, something before we move on to this topic is can you have more than one GitHub account? So for the experienced people out there, you may remember uh, a couple of years back, actually several years back, it was not okay to have multiple GitHub accounts. And now it's pretty, it's pretty standard. Um, with GitHub Enterprise Cloud in the picture as of this year, I think, um, so our place of work, uh, it's standard and they, you know, they issued me an additional GitHub account. So, um, actually encountered, uh, some of the policies relating to this, um, uh, from GitHub. Uh, one of the, one of the pages is, uh, called, let me see if I can show you managing multiple accounts if you have a workstation you're contributing to more than one project you might want more than one account so the takeaway is having multiple accounts is no longer frowned upon the way it used to be it used to be that if you had multiple accounts you get into you know finding yourself banned uh so that is no longer the case it's now apparently okay to have multiple accounts and let's answer the question about why you might want one account and then we'll answer the question about why you might want two or more accounts the so first question is why do you want one account um Without going into extreme detail about this, I can just tell you, you want discoverability. We, we have an entire video on discoverability, the ways to do it, but GitHub is the most important site for any technologist, hands down. Hands down, it is the absolute number one most important site for you to be on. A uh, quick little story here. Um, I actually used to uh, run Skillstack and I, I mentored um, many kids uh, who were the children of, of uh, you know, vice presidents and CTOs and stuff. And one senior executive vice president uh, who was also a consultant and stuff, um, she used to like to talk to me after class a lot uh, to get ideas. Uh, she actually offered me a job for a quarter million. I have the email still. Um, and she, anyway, she wanted to know about, you know, getting GitHub and all this stuff and versus GitLab. And, you know, it, we would talk about it and it, she came in and she goes, oh, GitHub, that's like, everybody's got, Git, everybody has a GitHub account at my work. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> another, another CTO came in once while we were, we had GitHub up on the screen and he, he sat in and watched, you know, us talk and he's like, he made sure to tell everybody in the class, he's like, all of my people have GitHub accounts. We make sure to have GitHub. But this, this one woman also told me a story about, um, she goes, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but we subscribe, our company, it's a big company that you would totally know. We subscribe to this service that mines the best talent from GitHub and, and sends us a very short list of the best possible people on GitHub. Um, and there's since been a lot of services out there that have bubbled up that you can go in and see what your GitHub score is and stuff like that. Um, but, but I know very directly firsthand that at least one very substantial company hired based on what another substantial company stealthily did to identify candidates from GitHub. So if you are a technologist and you want a job, you want to make sure your GitHub represents you very, very well. So the first step of this is getting a GitHub account. We're going to do a separate video about how you can make a really fancy landing profile page like I have here. Um, this, this page, by the way, is more important than any web page you would ever make because this page pops up for SEO. It's the first thing that's going to hit if you search for you. Um, it's going to be the first thing that any AI or any mining is going to do. Plus, it lets you control um, you know, your, your stuff down here. I'm having a really hard time uh, keeping myself from getting pulled into talking about making your profile page, but that is a separate thing. Um, and so let's, let's get back to 
one account. Why do you want one account? You want one account because they're going to find you. People that are going to give you a job are going to find you here. And I've heard more than one story of people being offered jobs based on their GitHub profile alone and their contributions. Um, it's also important that you understand that the stuff that you put here, we're going to come back to this topic when we start deciding what should we put here. And I've already made videos about that. You need a dot, you need a Z, you need a lab, you need your profile. There are about four standard repos everybody should have. And beyond that, uh, it's, it's mostly just a place to put your best work so people can go make decisions about whether you're awesome or not. Um, and, and, and what you like to experiment with. That's the point. That's why you should have it. And this, the reason to have two accounts would be primarily because you want to test, right? You want to have, I mean, either, actually, there's another reason I, uh, that's rather obvious that I didn't think about, it, and that is if you're working at work, you have a work account, and if you're a contractor, you may actually have multiple work accounts um, that use you know, a single sign-on or some sort of identity provider to log in. And the names do not, you know, that's for work. And then you need something for your personal account. Uh, in some cases, you might want yet another persona for, you know, a specific contribution to a specific organization. Um, and then the, the obvious, the other obvious reason, and this is the reason I'm doing this video today, is you need to test out things like um, GitHub Actions or GitHub Apps or any of these things that depend on uh, multiple, you know, like, for example, if you wanted to practice how to grant access uh, to a collaborator to a private repo, um, you can't test that without having a separate account. Now, obviously, you could collaborate with another person to do that, but if you want to set up your own automations and your own testing and your own learning about how these things work in order, in order to understand GitHub itself and the API for GitHub and all of its services, then you, you really need to, to create maybe one or two or three accounts. And so, so those are the reasons you might have more than one or two accounts. Let's actually get into how to do this. Um, and I am going to leverage, I'm going to do another video. Uh, if I already did another video on web browsers uh, and why you need a graphic one. And I'm actually going to go ahead and add another Git uh, uh, profile. We talk about why and how you need to use one of these standard browsers. Uh, continue without an account. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, sometimes I like giving it a special color because I just wanted to know, you know, uh, you know who this who this user is. Uh, I'm going to call this GitHub. This is this is in Chrome, by the way. This is not in. Uh, we're going to say. Um, GitHub sample, wait, uh, RVX, uh, no, what should we call it? What should we call it? What should I call my account? RVX Rob dot, um, uh, test, how about test one? How about that? How about that? RVX Rob dot test one. How about that? Is that going to, is that going to work? Or is it going to need a a dash in there. I do not know. The reason I'm using the dot is because I'm, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you in GitHub how you can, uh, how you can um, do this. There's some cool things. You, I'm sorry, in, in Google with the Google email system. We'll talk about that s separately. Okay. So, so this is now a new account. There's these other accounts that I have, um, and when we go to GitHub, it should be brand new. Um, so yeah. So this is what you see when you see a brand new GitHub account. Um, let's go ahead. I, it's been a while, so, uh, we probably should do the redo this video every year because these kind of services change every year. Lots of old videos, uh, sign up for GitHub. So this is kind of cool. So I'm going to do another video on Google, but the reason you want a Gmail account is so that you can, um, have multiple account, multiple emails, uh, for this kind of thing. And there are many services, but Google uh, Gmail is really great for this. Let me let me show you why. So, so I have uh, you know my regular account, which is you know this is already taken. Uh, if I were to do that, it would probably say nope, can't do it. Um, but this is what I want to show you, and and I'll do another video about it. So I, I do have a Gmail called Robma, and you know at gmail.com, right? But that's already been taken too. But here's something really cool: um, the Gmail accounts. Any Gmail account, any the, after you can put anything after the dot, or you can put anything after the plus, and they will all go to the same account. Yeah, 
pretty cool, huh? Um, so basically, you have this. What this means is that you can have multiple email accounts in one account, so you don't have to go in and create a new email account for everything. This is particularly useful when doing this kind of pseudo stuff. In fact, I have set this up before for a school one time. Uh, there was a private school, and they had you know lots and lots of students, and we wanted all of them to have their own email addresses, but we wanted them to be controlled by the teacher. So the teacher created one email address for that class and then added plus whatever to the end of it so that each individual person had their own private email, but it would all get it would all go to the same to the same account. It would all come into the same account. But they that way they could use it. They could use that singular account uh, to create, you know, multiple GitHub accounts or like we're gonna do. So or or whatever, really. Um, so, so here we go. Our, our, our at, uh, or actually plus, and then we're going to put, um, I'm going to put, uh, let's do G H, um, G H test. I don't know. Should we make them consistent? Uh, GitHub, uh, GitHub. Did I say dot test? What did I do? Did I do dot test or dash test? I guess we could do GitHub test. GH, uh, how about GH1? GH test one. How about that? Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, sign up for GitHub. You can actually change your identity later, but I don't know if it's going to let me use a plus there. Oh, no, this is email. What am I talking about? Uh, Gmail.com. Sign up for, for GitHub. Uh, this does not work for ProtonMail, unfortunately. Um, I wish it did. Uh, it doesn't, but. Uh, enter your email uh, let's begin the adventure this is cool uh it's been a long time since i created a new account so yeah create a password Shh, don't tell anybody my password um i'm trying to think of what my password will be password is too short uh <laughs> all right just a second Password may be compromised. Um, how about, how about <laughs> I'm trying to pick a good one. You know what the best password is? A very long one that you can remember. <laughs> it really is. The best password is a very long one. So that 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 is easy, yeah. All right, let me try again. Can you guys guess it? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Someone's going to, like, pick it up. Yeah, I know. I feel like someone's going to pick that up. I, I, my problem is I want to be able to remember it again. You know, is, I don't want to have, forget it. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Whoa there. You have exceeded a secondary rate limit. <laughs> I actually exceeded their API of the WebSockets rate limit because I'm like making too long a password. Are you gonna let me use it? No. Damn, I, I'm I'm they think I'm attacking them. <laughs> uh that's funny. <laughs> I need to write it down. Okay, there we go. What is my username gonna be? Um Rx Rob. Username may only contain alphabetic characters or a single hyphen. And cannot begin with or end with a hyphen. Uh GH test one. I mean, that'll help me remember, I guess. 
Uh, receive occasional product updates. Nope. Verifying my account. Let's let the adventure begin. Oh, look at this. This is probably not something you should see. Somebody's going to own my new account. It's very sad. Please solve this puzzle so we know you're a real person. Verify. Use the up arrows to pick the image where all the darts add. Uh, this is hard. <laughs> use, let's see. Use the arrows to pick the image where all the darts add up to the number in the left image. Damn, this is these are getting very complicated. AI is just too damn good. Uh, I don't... What? Use the arrows to pick the image where all the darts add up to the number. Wait, don't they already? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I didn't see that. I didn't realize it changed. Yeah. Yeah, that's not it. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Nope. Let's see. 11, 12, 13, 14. Nope. 8 plus 9. Nope. 10. Nope. How long is this going to take? I can't count. 11, 12, 13, 14. Nope. 10. Nope. 8, 9, 10. Nope. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Nope. And oh my god. This is taking forever. What the hell? No. Use the arrows to pick the image where all the darts add up to the number in the left image. 15. No. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No. 9 plus 7 is 16. Right? Back? You see the eight seven one? Eight seven Oh, the ones that have the darts in them. I am so dumb. I am I am much less intelligent than an AI. I didn't realize that there were the darts. It was darts there. I thought I was adding them all together. I am so stupid. You know why? Because the first one had darts and everything. And I thought, oh, they all have darts in them. Okay. Now now I'm I feel really dumb. Let's see. Eight plus six. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Aren't you so glad you watched that entire video? I got to do it again? How intelligent do they think I am? Oh, my God. Uh, let's see. 7, 12, 13, 18. 7 and 5 is 12. God damn it. 12 and 8 is 20. This is hard. My brain is melting. 7 and 16. Seven. No. 10. No. Let's see. 16. 17. No. Right, this is how slow my CPU is. I have a very slow CPU. I do. I do. I have a very slow CPU. 10, 15. Let's see. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, 21. Did I get that wrong? Uh, it seems like it could be it. Ten, <laughs> Why are there two darts there? Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's 21. <sighs> Audio challenge. But this is insane. Oh, I can't hear anything. Song two. Oh my god. Song three. Press play. Type the number of songs that change instruments. Oh my god. I don't know which one's easier. I'm gonna be doing this for 25 minutes. Protect protect your account. Verify. Here we go again. Use zeros to pick an image where the darts have to the numbers. No. No. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, well, that's it. Okay, good. We, how many of these we have to do? They really think I'm a bot. They must. Uh, use the arrows to pick the image where the darts add up to the numbers on the left. Nine to eleven. Nope. This is nine to eleven, twelve, thirteen. No. God, 
Dang it. 12, yes. I got to do eight of these? Oh, my God. I wish I could stop the video right now. Actually, I can. I think I just... Did I pause the video? Did the video pause? Did the, re did the recording pause? It doesn't look like it did. I have a new button for, re for pausing video. I'm trying to get it to work. It doesn't look like it's working, though. Wait. <sighs> Damn it. Give me a second. I am trying something new here. Stop recording. Where's the pause button? All right. Pause. I don't think my pause is working on this one. No, it's not. Check one, two. I don't know why I, it doesn't have pause. It doesn't. It just has recorded. I used to have, a, there used to be a little pause button. Mine doesn't, mine doesn't have a pause button. Anyway, I don't, I'm going to have to do a new video. This is insane. This is insane. All right, let's try this again. No. Seven, eight, eight. No. 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 Yes. I got to do like nine of these. Are you crazy? This is insane. Eight, nine, 10, 12. No. 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 Five, six, no. Seven, no. 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 No, no, no. Oh my God. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Um, no, 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 no. Yes. This is crazy. This is so freaking crazy. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. <sighs> oh, please, God, make it stop. Please make it stop. This is like a reason to not do this live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look. Oh, finally, I've been. I got to do two of these. Enter the code. We sent a launch code to my email address. All right. Well, hopefully, you won't get to see it. Um,. I mean, we'll save it into this account. Yeah. I got to go get my account now. My launch code. I'm kind of glad I'm going through this because there's going to be at least one person who's like, man, this is hard. You would be surprised. Um, seriously, like peop people who are. I hope this doesn't like let you hack me. All right. I'm going to make it just a little bit harder for you to hack me. Just a little bit harder. Not completely. Please don't hack me. I'm trying to do good things here. Welcome to GitHub. All right. Main. Um. <laughs> uh, Rob's training AI. Absolutely. They do. They think I'm about. Okay. How many team members are you wor will be working with you? Hmm, just me. I should be recording. I mean, it says I I went to go do my pause thing and it didn't work. So my pausing is not working apparently. It's still recording. Yeah. I don't know. There's no way to prove that though. As my yoga chill. Okay, just me continue. I mean, I had to do this anyway. So what specific features are you interested in using? Code spaces, pull request notification, code review, code review, assignments, code owners, draft pull protect. I don't think I need to put any of this here. Uh, I mean, is it going to try to give me, skip personalization? Yes, please. Oh, damn. Look at this. Wow. I This is like the first time. I've never, this is like, a, it, I'm glad I'm doing this. This is like first time, you know, thing. Uh, hey, look, Rust. <laughs> it's the first thing it recommended. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh hey, look, I can make my thing 
This is great. I did not know a thing. Create your first project. I, this is actually kind of cool because I, I, you know, I'm so used to having I'm so, uh, this. Yeah. Should I should I, I make a, a profile page? Your repository is your profile. I mean, I mean, you guys can play with this stuff. I don't. We're not going to waste time. All right. So we have it here. Now you can create, click on create a repository here. And let's actually go ahead and do that. Let's make one. Let's use a, a repository that you might want. Let's call it uh, notes or code book. Um, uh, you can call it notes. You can call it Zet. Um, and we're going to make it private. And you know, this is like my notes about stuff. Uh, how to read me. Yes. We're going to do Markdown. We're going to do a whole thing on Markdown later. Uh, Get ignore no choose license no license because it's private so we don't care create the repository um hey uh and we're gonna do a whole video about how to edit these notes uh you can preview them uh it's a great place great place to start taking notes um you know uh, something here and just you know click on commit here update readme commit to the main branch normally you wouldn't do that but yes this for notes is fine and there you go. So we've got one of these accounts created. Um, and that is really it. So so the next question is, how do you connect to this account? Um, however, this video is already really long. So uh, we're going to end this video here about how to create the GitHub account, why you might want an account, why you want more than one. Um, go ahead and repeat that, you know, as many times as you need for however many accounts. So I'm going to create... Uh, two more accounts um, using this method uh, so that I have my main account and then I have three accounts that I can use um, to test uh, other GitHub things uh, related to the privacy between the accounts. I want to simulate, you know, a team of GitHub developers um, who are collaborating with each other and that kind of thing. And that some of that stuff you can't really test uh, unless you have multiple accounts. So that's that's the reason to do it. Um, I'm so sorry you had to, I hope, I hope you fast forwarded past the part where I was like screwing around with the passwords. Um, but now, you know, you know about that and you know why you might want a GitHub account. Um, we will be making other videos about specific elements of GitHub, uh, after this. So watch for those videos and don't forget the beginner boost every year, May the 4th, but check us out on S K I L S T A K dot I O.